How to install Linux Ubuntu on your Mac using UTM in just a few seconds. Step 1. Open your web browser and search for Linux Ubuntu. Click on the official website. Then go to products and you should click on Ubuntu server, because Ubuntu desktop only comes as a AMD64 ISO. Since we are on a Mac, we need the ARM image. That is only available with the Ubuntu server. Then click on download Ubuntu server. You'll see this Ubuntu LTS image. Click on alternative architectures. And select ARM. Now click on this green download button and wait for the ISO to download. If you don't have UTM downloaded, then head over to their official website and get it. It's completely free of charge. Then open up UTM and select create a new virtual machine. Select virtualize, then pick Linux. And select your Ubuntu ARM ISO image. Now set how much memory you would like to allocate to the VM. 8GB is usually fine. You can also enable hardware acceleration for improved graphics performance in the VM. Then click continue. Storage you can leave at 64GB. And now just save the virtual machine. Then go ahead and start it up. Press enter on the first option to install Ubuntu server. Then wait for a bit. And now go through the setup process. Select the language you would like to use. I'm going to continue without updating the installer. Select your keyboard layout from the menu. Then press enter. You can press space to search for third party drivers. Then press enter once again. Press enter. We don't need any proxies, so press enter again. It's going to pass some tests. Then you can press enter. For guided storage configuration, also just go ahead and press enter. This is a file system summary. Not much here, so press enter. Confirm that you want to continue. And now you can configure your profile. Fill out these username fields and then pick a password. Then just press enter. I'll skip the Ubuntu Pro for now. You can also skip the SSH configuration if you don't need anything like that. Just keep pressing enter until you get to the system installation screen. Now it's going to take a few minutes to install the kernel and set everything up, so just wait for it to finish. Once you see this line, the installation is finished and you can reboot the system. However, once it turns off, you have to shut down the virtual machine and close it. Open up UTM, select the virtual machine and navigate to this CD DVD section. Press on it and click clear. This will remove the image from the VM. Otherwise the installation process is going to start all over again if you don't remove it. Now you can go ahead and power up the VM. Now you should be in this screen and here we have to install the Ubuntu desktop. First tap in the terminal sudo apt update which will update all of the packages. After it's finished you can clear the terminal and then run the command sudo apt install ubuntu desktop. This is going to take a while as well so just wait till it's finished. After installing the ubuntu desktop type sudo reboot now. This will safely reboot the system. It might take a while to boot back on so just wait. Once you see the login screen just log into your account. Now just finish the installation. I'll skip Ubuntu Pro, ignore data collection and then press on finish. The last thing we need to do is install drivers. To do that, open the terminal. Then type sudo apt install spice vd agent and spice web dvd and enter the password. After they are installed, go ahead and power off your virtual machine. Then go to UTM, select your virtual machine, open up settings and navigate to sharing. And for the directory share mode, pick Spice Web. Then select your downloads folder or literally any other folder. This will allow you to have a shared folder between your host system and the virtual machine. What you can also do is head over to display settings and turn on retina mode, which will optimize the resolution for retina displays. Now you can power on the virtual machine, log in and adjust the screen resolution. And you're done. If this video was helpful to you, then press the like button so that more people can find this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.